So welcome to day four of this Boost My Business 30 day challenge. How are you getting on? We've already had a few days now under your belt where you've been able to do some basic changes to your hours, your categories, and just get a good overview of what we're gonna accomplish on this particular challenge. But today's challenge is gonna make a big difference to your traffic. So you may find that you've not had much interest, not many inquiries, very few people have called you or text you through your Google My Business listing. And there may be a good reason for that, because Google's rewarding at the moment, particularly photos that are really useful and applicable to your business. So when was the last time you really took some good photos for your business? Well, today's challenge is gonna help you to do that. So I challenge you to look at your photos and to just think from your perspective and from a customer's perspective, are they really inspiring people to visit your business? And how do they stand up against the other businesses that are also being found in the map results. If you get the right photos, you'll get huge traffic from today onwards. So in the next 10 minutes, you could potentially change your business and the amount of calls you get coming through. So how does all this work? And what can you do? And what do you need to check? Well, by the end of this 10 minute video, you'll have a cheat sheet to follow. So after the video, you'll be able to go back and then you'll be able to work through it and make sure you've done all those things. So for those that watch the whole entire video, I'll give you the cheat sheet near the end. And one of the things that's changed in the last few years is Google fully understands what pictures are now about. Years ago, you had to put an alt tag to say this picture is about something or another. Whereas now Google can read text on images, it can understand logos, it can understand the context of the image. And 99 times out of 100, it's got it spot on. But it also knows when pictures aren't particularly relevant to the business. And it also knows if you've taken a stock image and used that. So there's lots of mistakes people are making. If they're taking someone else's image or paying for a stock image and then using that, that's not considered as an authentic part of your business. So what's the best types of pictures you can take for your business? Well, they're high quality pictures of your work. And actually, do you know there's something even better than that though? Is if you can get your customers to give you a review and upload pictures of your work, that is the kind of the real thing you're trying to achieve here. When you're with a customer and they're gonna give you a good review, ask them if they'll put a couple of photos up too and that will make a massive difference to your traffic. So why is Google thinking that photos for Google My Business listings is so important? Well, think about it. Emotions are connected to visual things. When you see something, like if you see a baby crying, you might feel emotion. So think about for a moment, what's your business require? If you're not sure of what Google likes to find regarding your business, then do a search for your business on Google and then go to the images tab and just see what does Google view these particular things as. So for example, if you're a plumber, do a search for plumbers and look on images and then you'll get an idea of what Google is looking for. So maybe looking for a spanner, a wrench, a sink, a shower. And you need to think about then what photos can you take within your business that are relevant, that are authentic and that are going to help customers gain your trust. Now, Diane Ackerman said that the visual image is a kind of trip wire for the emotions. That's true, isn't it? Others have said that, that a picture speaks a thousand words, but it's not just words, is it? It's the emotions that can come from a photo. You can look at a photo of a really lovely meal and think to yourself, oh, your, your mouth starts watering. So you know that photos work, visuals work. It connects with the brain, it connects with emotions, it connects with the heart. I often ask true or false questions on my channel. So I asked you the other day, when it comes to uploading images, should you make sure that the image is given a keyword in its name? So for example, if you were a plumber, would it be right to put a plumber bournemouth.jpg and call that image that when you uploaded it? Well. If I'm honest, I don't think the keywords make any difference with Google My Business. But having said that, it's still a good idea to name your images descriptively. The reason being is if you upload it in other places, if you use it on your website, or if you're just using images in general, sometimes it will default the alt tag to whatever you've called the name of the JPEG or the PNG or the GIF or whatever you're using. But on the whole, from a Google My Business point of view, I don't think it makes any difference. And it's the same with geotagging. On some tools online, it'll work, 
but on the whole, Google My Business is stripping it out. So don't overly worry about geotagging photos on this occasion, currently with the way Google's doing things. And of course, Google has a massive knowledge of knowing that photos have a big impact on a customer's trust with a business. So again, if you've got very few photos, or if you've not bothered to upload photos since you first started the listing, and maybe you just grabbed a couple of photos that were on your phone, and they weren't well lit, they weren't thought out, they were just random photos that you thought, well, I need to put something up, then today I really, really strongly recommend that you rethink it through and take a look at your photos. Why? Well, here's a few facts that you're gonna find fascinating. 35% more click-throughs will come through your website. That's what Google says. Also, Google says that 42% more requests will come for driving directions if there's a good photo, first of all, on your listing. And Bright Local have found that has a 60% impact. But part of the challenge is to do the things that I'm asking on these videos. So can you ask these questions as I go through them and be honest with the answers? Do your images really look great? Ask someone to look at your images and say you won't be offended if they're honest. Here's another one. What value do your photos bring to your customers? Ask your customers, did they find your photos helpful? Find out what values it brought, if any at all. Could any photo do more damage than good? You know, if you've got the same photo repeated once or twice or three times, that could be doing more damage than good to your business. Or if you've got a photo that everyone else has used or a stock photo, Google knows that, it's not stupid. It then thinks, well, you're not trustworthy because you're saying that someone else's work, someone else's photo of their work, you're implying it's your work. And here's the final question for you. Does your cover and logo images, do they complement your brands? So if I was to look at you on Facebook, and then I was to look your business up on Google My Business, then I was to look your business up on your website, would I see a constant logo, constant branding? Would I see that the color schemes, the photos being used, the style of photo even, it's all complementing your branding? Or is it just random? Because if it's random, then it shows that the business isn't still fully clear on what its identity is. And if you, the business owner, don't know what the identity of your business is, well, then it's going to be hard for people to trust your business. When people find your business, they will click through. And of course, part of the algorithm is when people click through, you start to go up. So even though you might not be top five or top 10, getting these things right today will start to have an impact a month, two months, five months, six months down the line where people click through because they can see the professional side, the trustworthiness side of your business through your images. So we're nearly there and I've got that cheat sheet that I've prepared for you, which I'm gonna show you where it is in a moment. But just before we go on there, I just thought I'd just show you a couple of examples first of all that are gonna really help. So let's just look at these together. So here is a driving instructor's uh, business. And of course, think about it, what would be the most impactful way of getting someone to pick up the phone and to go with this driving instructor? Well, it's to just see people passing. And that's really the best photo you can take. But you notice these are authentic photos. These are real people, real customers that have passed with this driving instructor. And so that would be the way in which I would recommend that type of business. Think about it from a customer's point of view. That's what you want to see. Now here I did a quick search for flower shops. And here you can see again, the importance of flowers. If you come down here, a nice bright flower or two is gonna stand out. Which one would you click on? Would you click on the map one? Probably not. Because again, you've already got the map here. So just again, this looks like a very small amount of information. So what you want is you want a nice bouquet of flowers, something that really stands out and shows the type of thing you do. And of course, if you go into each of these businesses, these photos here are going to be selected by Google. So if they're really, really high quality, I mean, this one hasn't got any photos. So that's a real shame. This one here, not too great, is it, the photos? You just gotta think from a customer's point of view, what are you going to, to notice straight away when it comes to your photos? So they're all very, I mean, this is, this is much better. It's got products, really high quality photos, genuine photos being shown here. And that's really what I think you want to see. And like I said, if you can get customers to upload photos, that's even better. And again, looking through some of these, not that I'm reviewing any of them because I, 
Again, that's not the purpose of this, but have any customers uploaded photos? We well, soon see if they have, because they generally become the first thing that shows on here. Again, good quality photos, but only one review. That's a real shame. And here's an ad, and again, good quality photos here. But have we got, to, ah, there you go. So there's a customer uploaded photos, new as well, six days ago. That is the, what, that's what you're looking for, because that will give a great impact on Google My Business listing. So this is a, a start of a business with a restaurant, but you need the logo, you need the cover, you need the videos, you need the interiors. There's so many things to add, food and drink. If you're, uh, if you're a restaurant, there's a menu image you can add. And you'll notice if you work through all these things on the top, you can see what customers' photos are, you can see what owners. The 360, just as a little bonus here, if you want to know how to do 360, you can do that for free. Now I've got a video, which I will just show a clip of here. If you go here, you can actually download an app, the Street View app, and you can make your own 360 video. And it's really simple and it's free, rather than paying the 350 pounds or so that you'll need to get a professional to do it. So if you want that little trick, then I'll put the link to that below and look out for that video if you haven't done it already. But videos in general, I think you can only have half a minute or so. It's quite a small file, interiors, exteriors, food and drink and so on. And again, here's a window cleaner, which I've been running a series of. And again, the importance of having the logo, befores and afters, just show people genuine photos of your window cleaning or your gutter cleaning or patio cleaning, whatever it is that you do with your services. And again, you'll just see here, this shows the differences. So these are this started up only just a few months ago, this business on Google My Business. But look, when we add photos, look at the impact. These are people viewing the business. Um, so blue is the business and red is what everyone else is doing. So everyone else, just the odd little image or two going out, making no impact on average. But look at the differences you've got here. Again, look at the difference. Customer photos, more than the average and you just want to improve everything, get ahead on the game. So in this case, that's what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to get ahead of the average person. So in conclusion, what is it that you're going to have to do today to complete the challenge? Well, I've got this cheat sheet for you. So you, you can go through the video again and you can check things through if you want, but actually if you just follow through these bullet points, I just briefly go through them for you. But basically check there's no doubles when you go through them. So we've mentioned that already. Check, is it relevant, the images you've got? Think, is it really helpful or is it vague? And if you can get a closer up version of the photo, do that. Take a better photo, think about the lighting behind it too. Add team photos. So if you're larger than a one man band, then make sure you've got photos of your team. You might have them on your, on your website already. So get them from there and bring them across. Add weekly photos because if you don't make this as part of a weekly routine to keep your Google My Business up to date, you'll find that you'll start to lose traffic quite quickly. So it is a regular thing Google wants to see. Ask customers for them to put photos of your work. That's probably the biggest impact you can have on getting traffic to your website at the moment. It's huge. Use interior and exterior photographs. So don't just stick with what Google gives you, which is the outside of your office or your outside of your shop, which is really a street view, but try and take your own photos as well. And of course, interior, if you've got an office or if you're meeting customers, take the photos of the areas that you meet them so that they feel more familiar with the surroundings if they come and visit your business. Try and aim for at least 800 pixels wide. Um, high quality is really important when it comes to, to visuals. If you're just using little small thumbnails, then it won't produce very good results. And there are some minimum requirements when you upload a photo. And finally, add videos, just small videos, but if you feel it's gonna be useful with your customer, add videos. And of course, check out this 360 degree trick that I've produced on a previous video. It's brilliant. And so few people have done it and they're missing a trick here. And that's another tick in the box if you can get the 360 degree video working on your website. And if you want to dive a bit more further into photos and know how to do even some more detail things of the things I've mentioned, then there's about three or four videos I've made over the last year that dive a lot deeper. So I'm gonna put a link to all of those down below as well as an extra little bonus for you. Now tomorrow, you're gonna to need to change your mindset on day five. Are you prepared to do so? Well, tune in tomorrow and I'll show you how you're going to see things in a very new perspective. See you there.